Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to cover how to get a Python uh, interpreter installed on your computer and also some of the common tools, specifically an IDE or integrated developer experience. Um, so we're going to specifically call, uh, learn how to install Anaconda and the Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you some other tools that you can potentially use, um, but these are the two that I prefer using and will be using for uh, the videos that are in this presentation and also uh, for my classes. So um, we're going to first learn how to locate a Python installer and how to install that. We're going to learn how to locate and install VS Code um, and then specifically install the Python add-in for uh, um, or extension for uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, we're going to learn how to pull up a Python interpreter um, and run a Python script um, from the command line. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is pull up a uh, browser. So we're going to pull up a new browser here. And there are two, well, there's multiple places you can go to see, um, to get a Python uh, installation. The first you're going to go to is python.org. And if you go there, you're going to see downloads and you can download automatically for whatever platform you have. The good thing about this is you can download it for um, Windows, for Mac OS, and also for Linux. And it automatically will detect based off of your browser that's in there. If you don't detect it, then you can also just click literally on the Windows or Mac OS or other platforms that are there for you. And you can look for specifically your, um, your package that's in there. Um, and uh, here's also all releases that you can have uh, that are in there and have some details that are specific to that. But what we're actually going to do instead is download Anaconda. Now, Anaconda, uh, package manager slash um, environment manager for you. The reason why I really love the Anaconda um, installation is because it, um, has a lot of the packages already pre-built in there that you're going to most commonly be using. And as a beginner user, um, it's it's going to be kind of nice to have these. Some of these you may never use, and so it is a bigger install than a regular um, Python install. But we're not talking about a massive amount of space on your computer. Most computers have a lot of space, so it's not And then you're going to go down to download. I'm going to select the 64-bit graphical installer. Um, you can pick whichever one, if, whether you're running on Mac OS or Linux. Um, you're going to save that file, wait for it to download. And once it does, go ahead and open that up. And you're going to get the installer right here. So now what we're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to agree to the end license. I like to do just me um, and do that because using it for all users can be a security risk. Also, um, it also requires admin privileges, which you may or may not have. You're going to select where you want to install it. I like the default place to install. Then next up, you're going to um, register Anaconda 3 as your default Python 3.7 in there. Um, so, uh, this is also, uh, something that's somewhat, uh, controversial. I like to add Anaconda three to my path, um, environment, um, because I like to be able to open up my interpreter, um, and, and do this. Now, this may or may not cause some issues, um, but I've actually had, um, no problems, uh, running this, uh, with this, but, um, I, I do click this option, even though it's not necessarily uh, recommended for there. Then click install. All right, there we go. And now it's complete. You're going to click on next. Um, it will give you an option to install potentially either PyCharm or maybe sometimes it's VS Code. They go back and forth between there. Um, it's just kind of an advertisement for there. Um, PyCharm and VS Code. Um, uh, you can uncheck each one of these there. But PyCharm and VS Code are both what's known as 
um, IDEs or integrated developer environments. And we'll talk about that here in just a moment. <clears throat> so then you're going to click on finish and here we are. You have Python installed and you can check that by searching the start menu for Anaconda. And you can see now Anaconda Navigator has been installed. Um, and there's also an Anaconda prompt and a PowerShell prompt, um, Spider, Jupyter Notebooks. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's been already installed for you. If you've got Mac OS um, and also uh, if you got Mac OS or if you have Windows, you can open up a terminal. So I'm going to open up a PowerShell terminal in here, um, or you can open up a terminal inside of uh, Mac OS and you just type in um, uh, Python in there and you should see a python 3 set and a conda incorporated in there um, if you don't see that then something installed incorrectly um, so for your mac if you see python 2.7 um, in there then most likely you're using um, the system version of python and anaconda didn't get installed correctly um, if you type in python on the Windows machine and it pops up with the App Store, then that means that it didn't get added to the path and something else kind of happened there as well. So, um, and there you have it. There's Anaconda installed there. Um, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install um, Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code and PyCharm, um, Sublime, um, Visual Studio itself, um, those are all tools that are integrated developer environments. They help you to um, develop um, in pro different programming languages. Each of them have advantages and disadvantages. Um, I personally like um, VS Code for Python development because it's very easy to install and set up. It's cross-platform, works for all, um, for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And also um, the, the uh, extension pack is very easy to install and get ready to go. PyCharm is another one that's very common, um, and it's it's free as well um, for the uh, community edition, and also the educational uh, edition as well. Um, and and there's nothing wrong with PyCharm. It's just that um, I like to use uh, Visual Studio Code over PyCharm. So you can pick whichever you want, but for um, Visual Studio Code, we're just going to search for VS Code, and it should be the first thing. So code.visualstudio.com. You're going to download for Windows. You should get a download link. We're going to save it. After it downloads, we're going to install it, accept the agreement, pick where we want to install it. And I like to add these, the add to option to code for the Windows Explorer. There should be also some same similar options for um, uh, Mac OS. I also like to click this as well. Uh, which is add uh, register code as an editor for supported file types. Um, then so click install. All right, and then click finish with that checked. And now we have a version of Visual Studio Code installed. Now Control Shift P will pull up options, and one of the first things I like to do is change the color theme. Um, I already have some that were already installed from when I previously used it, um, and you'll be able to see some of those. Um, and you can get additional ones by clicking on the Install Additional Ones, um, and you can see what those different ones are. Um, I'm going to set for the videos to be the light version so that you can see it uh, well enough. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our extensions in here. Um, it looks like I already have a bunch installed. Um, from what I had this previously. So um, the one that you want to look for is this Python one. So I'm going to uninstall this and show you how to do this. So once you click on this extensions tab right here, the four little boxes with the one floating away, um, you're going to do the search and then you're going to type in Python. And the very first one done by Microsoft is what you want to install. So you click on that and then click install. You're going to wait for a few minutes for that to finish installing. Doesn't take very long. And boom, there it's done. And now you can do a uh, an inst uh, any type of uh, Python programming. And it's already got um, some autocompletes and stuff like that. So let's just create a new file. We're going to save this as 
a test.py just to make sure that this works we're going to do a print hello world like this and there you go you can see there's some highlighting going on there you even saw that when i tied it started to type out print there were some um, auto completes that are going on in there um, so that that shows on how to use Visual Studio Code to debug and run uh, different scripts. So go ahead and check that one out. Um, and that's a, a great one to, to use. Um, but other than that, um, here you go. That's how you use uh, Visual Studio Code. So now finally, let's talk about how to run Python um, inside from the terminal. So we're not going to go into how to use it from, uh, from the uh, uh, Visual Studio Code. That's in that other video. Uh, how to do it from your terminal. So I'm going to open up the Windows terminal um, in here. So this might be a command prompt or a PowerShell. Um, and in fact, I'll show you how to do it in the command prompt and the PowerShell. So from PowerShell, both of those should work. If you type in Python, you should get a REPL that's in here. Now, this is a fully working uh, Python interpreter. So we can then do print hello world. And boom, it executes, and you can see that that works like that. Okay, um, and then uh, same thing for your command prompt. So we can type in Python. We get this um, on there, and then we can do print hello world on there. The other thing that um, comes with Anaconda is a um, So to pull that up, what you're going to do is type in IPython like that. And so when you do that, you're going to see something like this. Now, the reason why I like IPython is uh, it's got some additional kind of tweaks and things that go on there to make it a little bit easier for you to see and understand what's going on. So for example, we're going to do print hello world. We see that's printed out. We could also do some just cal regular calculations. So two uh, plus two, and it tells you what is out. So what's interesting here is if you see an out, then that means that this was something came out of this this situation. Whereas if you don't see an out, that was actually printed out to the console. So this out means that something happened, but it wouldn't be necessarily printed out to the console. It's just something that kind of an execution that happened um, there. And so you can use that to kind of investigate. Um, there's a little bit just kind of a delineation kind of going there um, as well. And you can just start using this. You can create variables um, using this. So we're going to set this to equal to two. And we're going to you know just start manipulating with this times two. And we can kind of get those types of things. Um, and so there you have it. Now you have a fully working um, IPython and Python there. Now remember, Python IPython comes with Anaconda. If you installed um, Python just regularly, you're going to have to install um, IPython using uh, another package manager such as pip um, and, and be able to set that up. But we're not going to go into how to do that here. I'm just going to assume that you already have Anaconda installed for the rest of the videos. So there you have it. We learned how to get a Python um, interpreter. Uh, installed on your system. We learned how to install Visual Studio Code and the Python extension um, and how to pull up a file in there. Um, and then also how to pull up IPython and the Python uh, interpreters and start interacting with that. So thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully this helps you out and continue on um, learning about Python.